Hello everybody and welcome to a new series on Halite. Halite is an open sourced artificial intelligence competition where players from around the world using just about every major programming language can compete against each other in a sort of simulated space environment. So what I have going on here is just a replay of one of the many, many, many games out there and these little things buzzing around are the ships and what they're doing is they're mining planets for resources. The more resources you have, the more ships you have. The more ships you have, you can kind of begin to expand and your goal is to basically take over, basically as Blue Player has just done. You wanna be like Blue Player. So how do we actually get started with Halite? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is head to halite.io uh, create an account. Basically, it's just you you combine and you, you authorize your, your GitHub account and boom, you've got an account. Once you've done that, go ahead and scroll down to the get started here. And at this point, we've already done step one and step two. What we want to do is download a bot. So go ahead and click here to download the starter kit. And as you can see here, a bunch of languages at your disposal. I'm going to be using Python 3 and then you just sometimes you'll need to match the operating system. Sometimes it won't matter. Uh, but in this case, Windows for Python 3. So I'll hit download. We'll save the file. And once you have that file, I'm going to go ahead and drag it over into here. I'm going to extract it. And I'll get rid of this just so it's not confusing. And here we have our starter files. Uh, HLT, this directory, is just a bunch of helper Python um, scripts to help our starter bot. I'll go ahead and open the starter bot too while we're talking about it. And this is very well heavily commented code, so I'll let you read through it. Also, we'll be breaking it down in a future video, but in this get started, let's just assume, hey, this is a great starter AI. Uh, Highlight.exe is just so we can run it locally. This will read me, of course. And then these are just two quick helpers that we could double click depending on your operating system. I'm on Windows, so I'll use the .bat. But basically, it's just gonna run Highlight.exe with some uh, parameters. In this case, it's just setting the dimensions as 240 by 160, and then it's running mybot.py versus mybot.py. So, uh, let's say we wanna run it locally. I'll just double click this. It runs a game, game's over already. Here's a replay file of the game. So as you're developing, you're probably gonna to wanna to run it locally just to see if your logic is doing what you hoped. It creates these replay files and one way that we can do replay those is to come up here to submit a bot. And on the right hand side, we could replay a file. So we can just click and drag that file over. And in a moment, it replays the game how it went. Unfortunately, blue, actually both players eliminated themselves and now we're just blowing ourselves up. Um, so starter bot's not exactly the, the smartest bot, and, and this shouldn't happen every time either. This is just by, kind of by chance, because this is a randomly generated map. Um, it's just unfortunate this is how it went. But anyways, let's say uh, that we're very happy with this logic. This looks like a bot that we definitely want to compete with. Uh, what we're going to want to do is zip up our bot. Your bot needs to be always called in title cased um, my bot dot and then whatever the programming language extension is. In our case, it's Python, so that's what I'm gonna use and it's already called that. But if you make like a V2 or something like that, remember before you submit it, it needs to be called mybot.py. You'll see how I get around that if you follow some of my later videos in this series. Uh, but regardless, what we wanna do is zip it up. This is an, uh, it's a required include for this script, so I'm gonna I'll highlight that one as well. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, send to a compressed zip folder and you can call it whatever you want. In this case, I'm just gonna call it submission.zip. And now we're gonna to go to submit a bot. And I'm just gonna drag that over this time to the left-hand side and we'll submit the bot. It says here your bot will start competing within hopefully the next 15 minutes, but I found that it's usually within the minute. Uh, and you can come to see your results. And these are just games, you can click on any of them to, to replay them if you got the little uh, you know, first place, basically, you get the little badge here. It makes it quick and easy to see, but you can also see here, I got third place, second, 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 and so on. So anyway, you can click on them, and we can actually replay the game to see how we did, um, how we won it. And I usually actually find, you know, it's fun to watch the games that you won, but generally it's better to watch the games that you lost so you can see how did the other player beat you or what did you do wrong uh, that cost you the game. Anyways, that's a very quick get started. If you're interested, I'm gonna be producing some more videos on how to start editing this script and then actually how to make your own so you can hopefully do a little better in this competition than just using the starter bot. But uh, otherwise, you can just get to hacking, get started, and uh, good luck in the competition, and I'll see you in another video.